Hi everybody, welcome to the advanced tutorial, Google Docs. Lesson number three, how to create a Google Doc and an online document. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to utilize Google Docs. And before I begin, I'd like to give you a brief overview of what Google Docs is all about. Google Docs is a source from the search engine Google, and it allows us to share and edit live documents um, from an online database. In Microsoft Word, we are able to create documents and save to folders and then upload uh, as email attachments, share on our projectors, etc. In Google Docs, we are able to create a live document, such as the one on my screen, and share it amongst fellow colleagues, district administrators, etc. So, for example, if you were um, in a cohort of first grade teachers and you were creating a reading theme of vocabulary words, resources, um, different types of documents that your students can use, uh, forms to fill out, you could in essence create a database for your reading theme amongst your fellow teachers. And at this point, what you're able to do is share your documents amongst your fellow colleagues. You do not have to email back and forth. You can simply open this link and add and take away as you wish. This gives us an opportunity to share different calendars. If we had a bunch of activities that we were planning, we can edit the um, calendar. We can edit the activities and just simply click share and we're done. Unlike Microsoft Word where we have to file save as or file save, as you're editing this document it automatically saves. So we're going to go ahead and get started. In order for you to utilize Google Docs, the first thing you're going to have to do is have a Google account. Now if you have a Gmail email, a personal email, that will work just fine. If you do not, you're going to have to create an email account. Once you create an email account, you'll see my name up here, you are free to create documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, drawings, etc. Just as you would in Microsoft Word. The only difference with Google Docs um, versus Word as far as editing and formatting is that Microsoft Word allows you to do a lot more with text wrapping and images and formatting different pictures, etc. Whereas Google Docs is a little bit simpler. It has your basics, inserting a table, changing the font size, color, and inserting an image. Um, very basic. We're going to go ahead and get started. If you click on Create and you click on Document, it will bring you to an untitled document. First thing we're going to do is change the title. Instead of untitled document, we're going to name this um, High Frequency Words um, Theme 1. Okay, click OK. And now we have a title. Like I said earlier, you do not go to File Save As, it automatically saves on this online database. Now what I'm going to do is I want to insert an image. Now, if you click insert image, it's going to ask you to choose an image to upload. You cannot go out to the net, copy an image off of Google Images, and then paste it. It asks for um, you to upload it from your computer, which means you have to save your image to a folder prior to uploading. So if you choose an image to upload, I'm going to upload. I'm going to upload this apple. It'll upload and then it comes on your screen. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the center alignment. Then what I'm going to do is underneath I'm going to enter a few times and I'm going to insert a table. For the sake of this document I'm going to be typing in vocabulary words that my students need to know in theme one and this is going to be a resource for my fellow teachers. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the different words that they need to know at the beginning of first grade. Um, let's see. Okay. Now, just like in Word, you can highlight, you can make them bold, you can change the size, 
you can change the color if you would like to the words to be blue okay I'm gonna come up here and type in these are our high frequency words for theme number one okay I can again format my text different size I can change the font if I'd like okay and as you can see just like in Word we added a table we're able to change the font and we're able to insert an image though we're not able to format our image that like we would in Word or we're not able to format our table it does act as the same basis for um, a, an online document the other advantage to Google Docs is that if you are a Mac user and you do not have Microsoft Word you can from home or from your computer at school anywhere you can create a live document and it will be available for you anywhere that you go you don't have to bring a flash drive you don't have to send yourself an email it is there on the net for you so now once I've created my uh, sample uh, document I'm gonna come over here to share now as of right now it says that I have it as private only the people listed below can access this document I have no names or email addresses in this bottom field I can change that I can type in if I want people from my um, Gmail account and I want them to be able to see this document I can list all of their names so if you want all of your first grade colleagues you can uh, type in their email addresses and you can send them um, this document it will share to their um, to their file as well um, also another way that you can um, make this document available is if you come up here where it says link to share and you copy it you can open up your email and you can paste this uh, link into your email and you can share this amongst whoever you'd wish to share then those people have access to this link and they can update this they can change it in any way that you wish my suggestion is that you do not leave this open to the public because you will then have anybody and everybody changing your document please make sure the people that you have in your Google Docs are people you can trust you do not have to share this amongst anybody you can share this just amongst yourself and you can keep create your own filing cabinet of material and I'll show you you can take a look here here are all my different um, sample Google Docs that I have made you can also share it out amongst your friends and colleagues so it's really um, it's up to you so now uh, I'll show you another example of a Google Doc that I've made a little poem that we use in our class again I changed the font the color the size and I've added an image another awesome thing that we can do with Google Doc is we can create a form if I go to create form I can create a form that I can send out to the parents of my class and um, for example we do um, milk money every month so I can in essence send this survey to the parents and give them the link at back to school night and tell them that they must complete this survey survey by the first of each month so that I know what kind of milk to um, order for my students and then they can send in the milk money versus sending home a paper copy of is your child buying milk how much is it going to be um, what kind of milk are they gonna have I can create a quick form in order to do that I can type in a form so I'm gonna type in December milk money and you can create um, text that would go underneath and you can just simply type please complete this survey and return by the first of the month question title you can type is your child purchasing milk this month me question type you have a different um, a variety of different choices you could do a checkbox type of survey a multiple choice paragraph text I'm gonna do checkboxes and my options gonna be yes or no 
You can make this a required question, which means they have to fill this out on the form. Click Done. And now, if I come over here, I can come to sample question number two. I can either come over and I can click the pencil, or I can add item up here, and again, I'm going to do another checkbox. And untitled question is going to say, what kind of milk, I'm sorry, if yes, what kind of milk is your child buying? So if they are not buying milk, they do not have to fill out the rest of this form. If they are buying milk, I'm going to type check boxes, and we'll know. So the options are going to be strawberry, chocolate, skim, or white. Make this a required question, click done. Now I have two questions that um, the parents can fill out and return to me. I can excuse me, change the theme of my form. Okay, and you can change it to anything that you'd like. I can click apply. And now, again, if I, if I find that I need to add a question or I want to edit this question, for example, I forgot a capital letter, I can go to the pencil and I can type in a capital. Okay, and I can save. Now, you have two options. You can share this or you can email this form. If you have a list of the contacts with your parents, you can email or you can share it and allow your parents to have this link. Um, completely up to you, whatever you feel comfortable with. And that is how you create a form. Now, once you've created that form, Google Docs gives you the opportunity to once you've collected all of the results, it will come up in um, a type of Excel spreadsheet. So it will give you a timestamp. It will tell you the type of milk the student is buying. And um, this way it will collect your data. You can use this for a multitude of other ways to create a form, a survey, collecting information from your students and or parents. That is how we operate Google Docs. Um, please go ahead and practice and experiment using Google Docs. There is no project to upload. Rather, I'd like you to create a Google account if you have not already done so. And if you've already done that, practice creating documents, forms, and, um, you know, creating a cabinet, learning how to share your documents. Uh, practice with a friend, and then as you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and shoot out the links to uh, colleagues and people that you'll be sharing your documents with. I hope you found this helpful, and thank you very much for joining. Bye-bye.